Hi guys, today we're going to be looking at 7-inch equivalent. This is just another way to um, simplify a circuit and replace the entire network load by an equivalent circuit that contains an independent voltage source in series with the resistor. So for this circuit right here, we want to find the output voltage across the 8K resistor. So let's go ahead and start. So this 8K ohm resistor, we'll say that is equal to RL. RL, we'll say that's the load, the resistance load that we're trying to find the voltage across. So RL is 8K. So what we want to do is we want to take this 8K resistor out. So let's go ahead and do that. So we take the 8K resistor out. What we're going to have is the same circuit, but just with an open uh, circuit and that we'll call VOC. So this is the exact same, but we're just taking the 8K resistor out. Okay, so what we want to do next is we actually want to find the equivalent resistance. So we want to find the equivalent resistance of this circuit right here. So in order to find the equivalent resistance, what we need to do is the voltage sources become short circuits and the current sources become open circuits. So let's, let's go ahead and redraw this circuit. So for the voltage source, we have a short circuit here. We have the 3K resistor. We have the 6K resistor, the 2K resistor. Now we don't need to draw this node because the current source is an open circuit, so we'll just leave that open. And then across here, we have the 4K resistor. Now we wanna find the equivalent resistance, we'll say RTH. So in order to do that, we could see that 3K is in parallel with 6K. So when 3 is in parallel with 6, that just equates to, uh, let's see here, that equates to 3 parallel with 6, that equates to 2 kilo ohms. So let's redraw that circuit again. So if we were to redraw this circuit, um, what we end up with is 2 kilo ohms parallel with 2 kilo ohms uh, in series, sorry, with 4 kilo ohms as well. Then we want to find <coughs> RTH. Now we could say 2 is in series with 2, which is in series with 4. So 2 plus 2 plus 4 gives us 8 kilo ohms. So therefore, we have an 8 kilo ohm resistor, and that is equal to RTH. Okay, so now we found the equivalent resistance. Let's look at this circuit here. Let's redraw that and label the nodes. And let's find the open um, voltage um, across this open circuit right here. So let's, let's go ahead and draw that. So if we were to do that, we have the 12 volt voltage supply, the 3K resistor, 6K resistor, 2K resistor, the current source, that is two milliamps. We have the 4K resistor. And remember, we have the voltage open source there. So we wanna find the voltage open source. So if we were to do that, let's ground the bottom node here. We'll say this is 12 volts. We'll label this as V1. We'll label this one as V2. We'll say the current is going this way across the 3K. Current is going that way across the 6K. And current is going across there, across the 2K. Now we don't have current going through this 4K resistor. And the reason is, is because this uh, node isn't complete, right? It's not attached to anything. So this is actually just um, a short circuit. So the 4K, it can be removed. So what we'll do is we'll cross that out like that. So now let's do nodal analysis here. 
So if we were look, to look at V1, when we do nodal analysis, we apply KCL. So let's look at that. So we'll say I1, the current going in, plus, this is I1, we'll say this is I2, plus I2 equals the current going out, and we'll say this is I3. Now, I1 is just 12 minus V1 divided by 3,000. I2, I2, since there's no current going across here, I2 is actually just equal to 2 milliamps. So we'll say plus 2 times 10 to the negative 3 equals I3, which is just V1 minus 0, because this is grounded, divided by 6,000. Okay, so now we had a nodal equation. And as we could see, we could actually isolate for V1. So let's go ahead and isolate for V1. So if we were to isolate for V1, V1 actually ends up to be equal to, let's see, V1 equals 12 volts. Okay. Well, V1 is equal to 12 volts, but we want to find VOC. VOC is just equal to V2, right? It's the voltage across this current source right here. Well, if we were able to find the, well, we know the current is going across the 2K, which is equal to two milliamps. So let's, let's find the nodal equation for this current. So if we were to find the nodal equation, I2, that is actually equal to V2 minus V1 divided by 2000, which is equal to two milliamps. Well, we know V1 is equal to 12. So V2 minus 12 over 2000, equals 2 times 10 to the negative 3. Now if we solve for V2, V2 becomes 16 volts. Well, VOC is actually equal to V2, as you can see here. So VOC is equal to 16 volts. So now we found the equivalent resistance and we found the voltage across the open circuit, across the load. So now let's draw the Thevenin equivalent circuit. So if we were to draw this Thevenin equivalent circuit, the circuit has the open voltage source, the equivalent resistance, RTH, and the load resistor with the current going across. So we know that VOC, that's just equal to 16 volts. We know RTH, RTH is equal to 8K. And we know RL, which remember, that's the load, that is equal to 8K. Okay, and we wanna find V naught, the voltage across the 8K resistor. So let's find the current. Well, the current, is equal to the voltage divided by the total resistance. So these are in series. So 8 plus 8 gives us 16. We have 16 over 16. Current one becomes 1 milliamp. Well, if the current is 1 milliamp, then we can find the voltage, the V-naught voltage. So V-naught equals the current going across 1 milliamp times the AK resistor and that gives us eight volts. Okay, so what we did was we had a complex circuit like this. We took the load out. We found the equivalent resistance by shorting the voltage sources and opening the current sources. We looked at the original circuit without the load. We applied nodal analysis to find VOC, and we had the Thevenin equivalent circuit right here, and from there we were able to apply Ohm's law and find the output voltage. 
So Thevenin equivalent states um, states that we could basically have any circuit reduced to its equivalent circuit um, by a series resistance, uh, an open source of voltage, and the resistance load. Perfect. Thank you.